the Joe Rogan experience. There are so many good fighters that are coming yeah, out of Dagestan right now. And it's, all technicians. Yeah. So, uh, it's, it's incredible. It's, it's incredible. Whatever is in and the water And then different there. styles, too, like Zabit. Like Zabit yeah. style, very, very different than a wrestling-heavy style. Look at this guy, man. Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. What a scramble. So this is uh, Abdul Rashid. Rashid? Abdul Rashid? <laughs> Call him Set Alive. <laughs> no, a, don't tell me how to say it. I'll figure it out. I don't Abdul know. Rashid? Abdul Rashid. Abdul, Abdul Rashid. Rashid. Set Alive. Set Alive. And you know what the beauty, there's a poetic, uh, Damn. Well, there's a poetic nature to the, to these guys. I mean, they're just like Khabib really, I mean, they're simple, good people, mm -hmm. right? They're, uh, they're pretty religious and they just kind of, they don't even believe in fame. They just believe in excellence. Well, you know, that was sort of evident and the, the mindset behind them was sort of evident at the end of that fight. With Connor, with where Connor, yeah. they went crazy and he jumped into the crowd, he's like, he's not playing games, like he's not he's not doing this for Instagram likes or for, you know, this is really, he takes trash talking all that stuff very seriously. This is all about honor for him. I, th I think that was kind of upsetting because true, but but I don't do that. Yeah, and, don't do that. And uh, also respect. I, I I'd, I'd hate to say it, but I, I think there's a certain ethic. And honor to the way Conor McGregor carries himself too. All that trash talk. If you look at the end of the fights, he's very I, kind. He's very kind and respectful in yeah. defeat and win. Like, yes, it's a different culture. You, you, you compare the Dagestani versus Irish culture. It's just a different culture, and you have to respect that. I think Khabib, to be honest, disrespected Conor's culture as much as Conor disrespected Khabib's. He, I I get what you're saying, but it, I mean, when he was done with the fight, he didn't keep attacking Conor. It was right. people in the audience that were talking shit that were training partners. Emotion flies yeah. high. That's yeah, that's, and that's he would, he had heard that for weeks, and he was he was done for months. He was done. He was like, "Fuck you! I beat his ass. Now I'm going to beat your ass." And he just said, "I'm not playing games." And he jumped into the fucking crowd. I think security could have been handled far better, and will be in the future to prevent things like that from happening, where people just jumped into the cage and, mm -hmm. you know, I. But I, I hate seeing that shit. Again. But I but I appreciate where he's coming from. I mean, that's who the fuck that guy is, man. That's one of the reasons why he's so good, is that he does have that mindset. It's one of the reasons, man. One of the reasons why he's so relentless. Like, he's not playing games. Yeah. He is who he is. What you see is what you get, and what you get is a killer. And he's he's there to smash. I, w I would have loved to see Conor McGregor versus Khabib, uh, Khabib before the Mayweather fight. Like, um, before Conor... Mm. gotten i think the money makes you less hungry oh for sure and dude he I, ain't hungry at all <laughs> i mean he's got a hundred million dollars but i think he still loves to compete but yeah. there's no hunger anymore like there ain't no hunger i mean he might be hungry for success but he's, there's no desperation yeah i don't know if that's i know what you're saying like he has a lot to lose now too it's a different thing he enters into a fight with a hundred million dollars in the bank it's a very different experience than entering into the fight you know, with one million and hoping yeah. that you could make three more tonight. And, you know, like many, I'm sure, fights that he's had in the past. It's a different world. He, can, once, he once can do whatever he wants forever. I mean, once a fighter, though, always a fighter. Yeah. I mean, th there is an element there that he still wants glory. I believe. He's still only 30. Yeah. Right? He's going still do it, yeah. I mean, he's, I think. How old's Connor? Uh, at the most, he's like 32 or some shit. 30. Yeah, he's young, man. To, to be set for the rest of your life at 30 is kind of fucking bananas. And I don't think he's at his peak as a fighter. So if he just decides who gives a fuck about the money, I'm just, I'm here to leave a legacy and I'm going to, I'm going to just train like a fucking demon. And he kicks aside all of the bad influences and all the distractions in his life and just focuses on training. I mean, pfft. He's a motherfucker, man. I mean, you saw what he did to Aldo, saw what he did to Chad Mendez, saw what he did to Dustin Poirier. I mean, he is a bad motherfucker, period. I, I know you're going to shut this down, as most fans do, but I, if he drops everything and goes to, like, Siberia to train, <laughs> I would love to see him and Khabib, too. Well, there's nothing – that's my friend Hans Molenkamp and uh, Connor Sparren just fucking around. Powerful on it logo in the background. It's like a goddamn on it ad. Um yeah, I mean, he's always going to have a problem with Khabib. Khabib's wrestling is so high level. It's so different. 
He smothers you in a way that you think you have good takedown defense till you run into that motherfucker. And he just gets a hold of everyone. He does it to everyone. Yeah. Was it, whether you're Michael Johnson or Edson Barboza, no matter how good your takedown defense looked in the past. And the Barboza fight, it was just basically just w waded towards him, waded through the fucking, the fury of leg kicks and punches and just clamp, drag, smash. And that's what he does to everybody, man. Yeah. The, the real thing about a guy like him would be seeing a guy like him against a guy like Jordan Burroughs. Like, could he do that to a guy who is a spectacular wrestler as well? Then it becomes, I mean, his striking, which has gotten very high level. He's very dangerous striking. So he dropped Connor. I mean, he can he can fuck people up. Yeah. He stopped. Um, there was some. He's he stopped a few people's strikes. I mean, he's a dangerous. He's dangerous enough on the feet that you would have to. I don't know how much, how many really high level grapplers also have like striking that can stand with them. Because if he decided to keep it up, he'd have an advantage there and until they. You know, got good at it. Him versus Ben Askren would be very interesting. Well, he would have an advantage in striking over yeah, but Askren. In uh, in wrestling, I don't know. No, the in, very Askren's different a stuff. big fella too. Are, are they the same weight? No. Oh, he's fifty five. Askren seventy. Okay. Okay. So but that, Askren could probably make fifty five. I mean, if you tortured him, he's got a dad bod though, and he's he's <laughs> <laughs> how rude. <laughs> No, he's he's proud dad he is, body. I, he does I, have a, he, he's proud of his body. Yeah, I think he was that way in college too. He was never He was never like Brock Lesnar. No, no. and he was, he was super technical. <laughs>